guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibin' After Dark, underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure y'all like this video. That helps out a lot, and thanks in advance. Okay, you guys, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about Sexy Red and her having her sex tape leak. And we're going to be talking about what some of these celebrities had to say about it. Some people was consoling her. And some people were saying basically she calls it on herself because of the type of music she made. And we're also going to be talking about Sherry Shepard saying what she think about her music. But before I get into the video, I just want to apologize for how I sound, y'all. I am always stopped up. So in all my videos, I probably sound stopped up. And I probably sound like I'm out of breath. Because it's hard trying to talk. Like, non-stop and breathe at the same time when you just got to, like, fully stopped up nose. Lord, it's a struggle. But I just wanted to say that before I start to the video. But let's get into the video. So I'm sure most of you guys know Sexy Red sex tape got leaked last night. And she came out after she felt some type of way and she realized that it was leaked because everybody started posting it all over everywhere. Now, I didn't see it and I don't want to see it, but I heard some pretty not good things about it. A lot of people saying like she was boring. A lot of people saying she looked nasty. The room looked stink. And all kind of mess. But she came out and this is what she had to say. I'm so heartbroken. Anybody that know me knows I wouldn't do no goofy ass like that. So you see on the time step it was 3.38 when she posted. this. Like I said she have not said anything else after saying that statement. She probably a little um like she said heartbroken embarrassed or whatever. But DJ Academics he went on his Twitter and this is what he felt like happened. So he said, Sexy Ray gotta stop effing with broke bums with nothing to lose. How every engine she with desperately tried to let the world know they smashing her. I love how down to earth she is, but it's about time she leaves these ninjas with ankle monitors on. In they mama houses where they belong. Then he came back and said, I don't think Sexy Red uploaded that herself. Clearly is a ninja holding her phone and recording. That ninja probably just uploaded that S to her story and called it a day. So y'all know I like it in the comment section to be nosy and see what everybody had to say. So this person said, she gotta stop effing with ninjas that's beneath her. Leave them ghetto ninjas that want your life alone. So another person said, I believe her. Why would she post that video and it was boring? I'm sure she would have posted something more lit. So the people had memes and some people was clowning her and everything. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit what the internet was talking about after it was posted. Two thousand for show. Way for to have no sexy red slender going on. Not on my for you page. Not on the discovery. New feed. None of it. But somebody tell him. Somebody tell that man. I know he think he's so X-rated. I know he think he's so porn hub, Twitter material. Somebody tell him. Boy, that's your fault that she had to get a spit start, my boy. That's your fault you had to <laughs> spit on that little pussy to crank it up. Man, y'all would have had to throw me a floaty device the way I would have been drowning in that ass. Man, I would have been sounding like a nigga gargling straight water. And here's a clip of what Charleston White had to say. I really think this is an old clip, but somebody just put it like he just now saying this. I'm not sure. Video, gonorrhea, trichonometry, cryops, and whatever else that pussy can con con contract. Hell, are you talking about? She too motherfucking nasty, manish, feel said to my off. Oh, uh, and she ain't got them high dollar weed. Everybody done fucked up. Bitch, hey. Yo, Charleston White almost took me out when he said trigonometry. He was trying to say trichomonas. <laughs> but this is what Daisy Banks had to say. And this was like, you know, the Tasha K song that she made off of Cardi B saying she go to jail. This is what he said. Lock his ass up. You going to jail. You going to jail. So then JT retweeted what she had to say. And she tried to give her words of encouragement to lift her up. And so this is what she had to say. Girl, you know you sexy. Go and do your ass. F what these hoes talking about. You know you that B. With the hard emojis. So then old man Ebro came out and he had to share his thoughts on what he felt about it. And he said, Sad Sexy Red is hurt by the sex tape leak. But it is actually on brand based on the music. Still terrible though. And so another person. So then somebody commented up on the Ebro comment. And they was like, 
This is like saying she got the R word because she wore a mini skirt. You're a weirdo, Ebro. So Ebro was like, huh? Revenge porn is terrible. Her raps are porn rap. Both can be true. Okay, so y'all know like a week or two ago, Sexy Red had posted this picture with her laying up with somebody with an ankle monitor on. And she was like, I like effing with drillers, dreadhead killers. And so that person decided to pick up her phone and clout chase and record her while she was asleep. And so this is why DJ Academics had said she need to stop, you know, messing with these these people with ankle monitors on. Because she likes saying she like talking to a bummy and just like she liked talking to the dirty ones so that's where that came from but here's the post just in case y'all have not seen it of when he went live well he didn't go live but he just posted up when he was like laid up with her i pushed down up on west i pushed down up you heard me so that's why some of the people think that this boy right here posts the, you know, the sex tape. And some people feel like it's a whole another man. So they don't, nobody knows for sure or whatever. But this is what some more of the people had to say in the comment section. So this person said, he did it. He already posted her sleeping. That was just to see how far he can take it next time. And that boy took it to Mars, shaking my head. Somebody else said, who cares who posted? Why did you let them... I guess you're supposed to say that man record you any D way. The last person said the dude did that shaking my head, probably talking about, let me just use the light on it so I can see. And this person right here said, y'all judge her based off of her music. That's for entertainment. Don't nobody deserve to get a sex tape leaked. So that happened last night where her sex tape getting leaked and Sherry Shepard went on a breakfast club morning show this morning and they had a question about, you know, how she feel about Sexy Red song. And this is what Sherry Shepard had to say. You don't want Pound Town. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, found, I just heard the lyrics to that. I, <laughs> Pussy pink booty all Oh, my brown. God. I was like, what are these girls talking about nowadays? When you're talking about your booty hole, be sexy to people. You got when? to have her on daytime TV. Sexy no, red. no, no, because she's gonna be like this, auntie. Okay, come, go on, old lady. What is wrong? When did just getting money and, and get, showing your booty hole to dudes become sexy? So, me, I come from the school of let him imagine something. Don't just come and show him every day. Don't just, when did your booty become like the emphasis now? That's not fair, though, because our generation was like that. Lil' Kim and Fox. Yes, we had our wild yeah, side. It was like that, too. But I just feel like these girls <clears throat> we don't have anything to balance it mm -hmm. because back then when you had little cam and everybody you had latifah going you and i t y you had you had queen lauren Penn. you had lauren so Lynch. you don't want pound town i mean you have a rhapsody now you know yeah, yeah but i don't think you have enough you know for me at this age i'm I, I, I'm not, I don't think that's going to work me. That's going to work me going to a man going, my booty hole, my booty hole thick. My da, 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 da. They going to be like, okay, thick, I don't know what they thick. say. She said, she said <laughs> brown. Oh, brown. What? Brown. Thick booty hole. It's, it's, look, that it, sounds like something you buy at the meat market. Okay. Some of that First thick of all. Hole. You just, you just have six pound booty hole. I don't <laughs> see what the difference is between booty hole brown and booty hole thick. It's the same. It's nasty. <laughs> I mean, you have a rap. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show y'all is something Neek at Night posted from a YouTube blogger, and this is what he had to say about it. You sexy red. Your sex tape. It's all over Twitter. You put it out. I don't care who put it out, you put it out. You are an absolute fraud. First of all, what she say? Her is pink and her is brown. Well, why is your brown like your your coochie brown like your booty hole, man. You lied. A absolute disgrace. Next, you sexy red. 
Next. I remember how in your song, you talk about how wet it is and all that. You rap like it's this. And the reality is this. Know what that is? Dry. So dry. Dude had the spit start. And the messed up part about the spit start. You seen debris. Leftover food. And anything else you can name. Tobacco, everything. Inside this man's speak. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. Y'all let me know what y'all thoughts is about the whole situation in the comment section below. I do comment back and I catch you guys on the next video. Bye.